At first, you won't think this video has anything to do with beauty products. But if you keep watching, you'll see that it does. This video is about a lot more than just beauty products. This video is about how we learn. I want to tell you a story, a story about a revolution, a revolution that took place without any guns, without any armies, a revolution that was started by a single idea, and that idea changed the world. The year is 1540, and everyone assumes that the Earth is at the center of the universe. And why wouldn't you think that? Where else would it be? We just knew we had to be at the center of everything, and that everything revolves around us. Everyone thinks that the sun revolves around the Earth. And why wouldn't you think that? Every morning we see the sun rise in the east, go overhead, and set in the west. Seems obvious. And everyone assumes that that's right. But one man dares challenge this theory, Nicholas Copernicus. Nick was a very smart man, but with a very bad hairstyle. Oh, now there, that's better. Instead of just accepting that we're at the center of the universe, Copernicus questioned that. He said, are you sure about that? Nicholas Copernicus looked at the same thing everyone else looked at, but he saw something different. That's the definition of brilliance. Nick thinks the sun's at the center and that the earth orbits the sun. And everyone thinks he's crazy. And why wouldn't you think that? If the sun is at the center, then the earth is orbiting the sun at 67,000 miles an hour. And while we're doing that, we're also spinning around on our axis at over a thousand miles an hour. It's kind of like the tilt-a-whirl at the amusement park. And somehow we're not supposed to feel that. I know it's true. I still don't understand it. But sadly, Nicholas Copernicus died without his theory ever being considered. The world was still not ready to accept this change. Well, let's fast forward almost 100 years to 1633. Galileo Galilei invents the telescope, turns it to the heavens, and sees that Copernicus was right. Galileo is found guilty of heresy, dies under house arrest just a few years later. The world was still not ready to accept this change. Well, let's fast forward another 50 years to 1690. Sir Isaac Newton develops his theory of gravity and finally proves that Copernicus was right. But we wasted 150 years because we weren't willing to consider or accept something new. Sir Isaac Newton said, in order to move forward, we must be willing to leave something behind. Well, we've done some crazy things in the pursuit of beauty. And they may seem crazy now, but they all seemed like a good idea at the time, and we just didn't know any better. And we still do some crazy things today because we can't always tell what's crazy and what's real. If we ever want to learn anything new, if we want to stop making those same mistakes over and over, then we have to always question everything, even when we're sure we're right, and never assume anything, especially when we're sure we're right. And I could not have said that better myself. I must admit, he makes a very good case. I sure hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and that it may have helped you in some way. If you liked my video, share it with your friends, and say so on Facebook and YouTube. And don't forget to check out my webpage and my YouTube channel. There's other articles and videos that you probably find interesting. 
and I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions or an idea for my next video, let me know. I'd love to make my next video just for you. So be smart, be informed, join the revolution.